the Golden State Valkyries are set to debut in the 2025 WNBA season, and their team will be primarily assembled through two drafts, the expansion draft in December 2024 and the regular WNBA draft in 2025. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. In this video, we will discuss the expansion draft. During the expansion draft, the Valkyries will be able to select one unprotected player from each of the 12 existing WNBA teams. This will allow them to build the foundation of their roster, but each team can protect up to six players, limiting the Golden State Valkyries option. For those Golden State Valkyrie fans that are salivating at the thought of drafting Paige Becker, Kiki Ari Offend, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but in the regular WNBA draft in April 2025, the Valkyries will not participate in the lottery for the top picks because they are an expansion team. The lottery is reserved for the four teams with the worst cumulative records over the last two seasons, and that's 2023 and 2024. Instead, the Golden State Valkyries will receive the fifth pick in each of the three rounds of the draft, which will give them a solid chance to add young talent without disrupting the existing lottery process designated to help struggling teams. When does Juju come out again? They may be able to get her. When considering targets from each team for the expansion draft, the Valkyries should focus on players who offer versatility and growth potential. Some strategic picks could include Vegas Aces' Jackie Young, a talented two-way player who can add scoring depth and defensive toughness. Would Jackie Young be a protected player? Yes, but they also have to re-sign Kelsey Plum, so, so maybe. Maybe she, she's available. From the New York Liberty, Kayla Thornton, a reliable forward who can provide veteran leadership and strong defense. From Chicago Sky, Dana Evans is on the block. Will she be protected? Uh, it depends on what her trade value is. And she did not play her best ball this season. But she is a young dynamic guard with potential to flourish in a bigger role. From Phoenix Mercury, there is Sophie Cunningham, a shooter who can spread the floor and bring intensity on both ends of the floor. I mean, who doesn't like seeing an aggressive Sophie Cunningham? From the Seattle Storm, Izzy Maglavore, a young defensive-minded center who can anchor the Valkyries' front court. She brings strong shot blocking and rebounding potentials. Will she be protected? Most likely, but it's fun to throw her in there but a center that might be available is Brianna Jones from the Connecticut Sun. Now she is a free agent, but the Valkyries can target one free agent and she would be one of the free agents I go after because she's one of the better post players in the league. Another free agent to target would be Kelsey Mitchell from the Indiana Fever. Would it be a long shot to land Kelsey Mitchell? Absolutely yes, but why not? To, she's a free agent and you can target her. Another player for the Valkyries to focus on would be Ariel Atkins from the Washington Mystics. Atkins is a two-way guard who brings championship experience and elite perimeter defense. She could serve as a veteran leader for the new team while providing scoring and defensive reliability. By focusing on young players from the expansion draft and targeting experience vets and free agents, Golden State Valkyries can build a balanced roster that combines future potential with immediate contribution. The 2025 season promises to be a crucial year for this new franchise as they lay the foundation for long-term success. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and as always, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.